Okay, let's do this. Hopefully there's not that weird, awkward silence at the beginning like there usually is. But if there is, whatever, we're just gonna do it anyways. What's up guys, Andrew Baina here. So if you're new to this channel, every single month, at the end of the month, I like to do a live stream that I call Baina's Best Bands. And it is essentially my favorite songs that I've heard of the month. Plus we do a live reaction to your guys' music. The rules are on the screen if you wish to participate. Uh, we already have quite a few lined up for today, but I always try my best to get to all of them. I have two from the previous stream that I didn't get to, so we're gonna play those at the beginning in just a minute. But yeah, rules are on the screen. Make sure to follow those. Uh, you know, if you send in a super chat, make sure that it clearly lists your band name and song name, and make sure that your song is on YouTube or Spotify so that it is easily accessible for me. That's pretty much all the rules. Uh, that's about all there is to this stream. So we're gonna start right at the beginning. So the first track I wanna show you guys is a song called Cicada by Reflections. I've been listening to Reflections for a really long time. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty good friends with their guitarist, Logan. I also did a collab with him a while back. If you guys haven't heard that, you should definitely check it out. Um, but yeah, they released a new song called Cicada and it is, I didn't think it was possible for them to make heavier music than they already did, but they somehow did it. Um, so this is a collaboration that they did with two of the guitarists from Humanity's Last Breath. Uh, that's pretty much enough talking. I'm going to let the song speak for itself. It sounds like this. This song is so hard to headbang to. Where's the downbeat? Ah, oh, so gross. Love it. How's it going, Phantom and Lotastic Films? What's up? How's it going, the Mighty Kraken? Thanks for joining, y'all. Ridiculous. What's up, Tzilla? How's it going, man? I love that they literally use pick scrapes as a riff. The entire riff is a pick scrape. Somehow. So fucked. Brandon, I got you for this one. So yeah, that song is uh, just a tiny bit heavy. What the fuck, Reflections, man? Like I said, I don't know, I don't know how they just keep getting heavier every fucking time they release a song. It's it's ridiculous. But yeah, definitely go check out Reflections. That song is crazy, but they also have tons of other songs that are just as heavy. Actually, I don't know, man. That might be their heaviest song ever. <laughs> um, okay, so we got 
two more suggestions, and then we're going to get onto your guys' tracks. Brandon Yates, I do have you up. You are the first viewer submission. You're coming up in two songs, and then we're getting on to your guys' suggestions. Uh, what do we got here? Saw a bunch of people saying, what's up? How's it going, guys? Dude Slayer, Xavian, uh, Benjamin, Lucas Shaw, always in the chat. Love it. Lotastic Films. Um, yeah, and then as for for uh, Bartos, you can put your song in a super chat, like it says right there. That is how you submit your song. Uh, but next up, we got the first ever song from a band called Of Sulfur. So this band is brand new. Um, they feature the vocalist Ricky Hoover. So if you guys have been following Deathcore for a long time, he might seem familiar because he used to be the vocalist of a band called Suffocate. This song was also, to some extent, co-written by Johnny Tardulo. If you guys follow my channel all, at all, you know who that is. Obviously, he's the vocalist of Carcosa. Um, so he did all of the orchestral stuff for this song. Um, this time, we're not going to play the whole song, but I'll show you a good chunk of it. It's very heavy, and it sounds like this. Big low boy, yes indeed. But now he's the wide open boy. All that orchestral stuff in the background was all my boy, John. We'll stop it there. So yeah, if this sounds interesting to you, definitely go check them out. Like I said, this is their first ever song, um, but I know they'll be doing more soon. And again, big congrats to uh, Johnny for working on this. And of course, Ricky for coming back strong with a new song. It's really good stuff. Definitely go check it out. Um, and then the last suggestion that I have before we get to your guys is, is a band called Signs of the Swarm. You guys have probably heard of this band. They're pretty fucking popular. But in my opinion, this is the best song that they have ever released. It has so much flow and so much groove to it. It's so sick. And this one features Nick Arthur and Matt Honeycutt. Matt Honeycutt is the vocalist of Kublai Khan. That's my personal favorite part of the song is when they're doing like the guest vocal trade-off thing. It's super sick. Um, and it sounds like this. There we go. Also, the video is the best color, obviously. The vocals are... Here we go. Guest vocalist number one. So good. I love his vocal style, man. So cool. Oh, 
Anyways, yeah, that'll be enough of that. So definitely go check out the full song. It's sick as hell. And the, it's really cool that they structured this song around two guest vocalists and all three of them trade off. Usually a vocalist will just come in and do like their thing and then bounce. But these guys stick around for the whole song. And it's super, super sick. It kind of reminds me of like the Alpha, the Omega from Tony Danza, Tap Dance Extravaganza. You remember that song. But yeah, this song is sick as fuck. Definitely go check out the whole thing. Um, okay, now we're moving on to the viewer submissions. So this one comes from Brandon Yates, my boy. I've worked with him before on a couple things. It's been a little while, but we still talk. Uh, he makes really cool music. He does a lot of music for another YouTube channel, which I believe is called Death Battle. I think that's the correct name, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so he did a song called The Abyss in Me, which is his version of like a doom sounding soundtrack. Um, so let's take a listen to how it sounds. Let's see what you got, Brandon. Definitely sounds doomy so far. Got that chainsaw guitar tone. It's like a little more bouncy and upbeat than a lot of the Doom stuff, but I definitely hear the vibe for sure. That part was sick. I love the blend of like the synth and the guitar tone at the same time. Brandon, if you're in here, Rin is asking what the tuning is. Uh, the Mighty Kraken, not sure how to solve that on my end, I'm sorry man. This riff is bouncy as fuck, love it. This riff is even better. Double drop C. Damn. Yeah, that's it right there. That bounce. Fuck yeah. That's sick, man. All right, we'll we'll pause it there. Yeah, Brandon. I mean, you definitely pretty much nailed the vibe of Doom. It's a little like more like upbeat or maybe like a little faster paced than a lot of the Doom stuff, but. You definitely nailed the vibe in terms of like the mixture of synths and guitars and blending the two together. You got that kind of like doomy chainsaw-ish tone down. And that sounds fucking awesome, man. And yeah, I saw you uh, ask for another one, which we will get to soon because we got other ones to do in the meantime. Um, next up, we got another one from, if you guys have seen these streams before, you've probably heard of this band. They're called Aria. Uh, this is from Gage. Shout out to Gage. He donated at the end of the last stream, and unfortunately we didn't have time, so we're going to listen to that. And then we are moving on to the first one of today, which is from Rin Yumitoba. Uh, but here is what Aria sounds like. This song is called Nekia, by the way. They always have sick ass bouncy gent roofs. I'm 
it is. I love the sound of that chime. We got a build up. Do be shredding though. Oh, there's more. Had to have another breakdown, of course. And tempo change. Oh. So much bounce. What's up, Max? How's it going? I saw you in there. Yeah, it looks like these drums are actually... Looks like the drums were actually done by Bryce Butler, which is really cool. I don't know how I never realized that before. Um, but he's the drummer of, like, Bro Job, Hunt the Dinosaur, a bunch of bands. Uh, or at least was a member of those bands for some, po for some period of time. Yeah, that was sick, man. Gage slash Aria, you guys already know I like your music, but yeah, this one is great. They always have the sick ass bouncy riffs and like those kind of like, what is it called? Johnny keeps telling me what it's called, like the, the Phrygian scale or whatever. I don't know, man. I call it like the Egyptian sound. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but yeah, it's sick. I love it. How's it going? Uh, True North German Free. What's up, man? Shouldn't you be working right now? I'll tell Travis on you. <laughs> Uh, Malhar, the instructions to send your, uh, request are right up on the screen there. Um, do, do, do. Okay. So next up we got one from Rin Yumitoba. I think he said he wants to skip to the 42nd mark. So we're going to do that real quick. So this isn't a song that's by him, but they would like me to check this out. Cause I guess they are wanting to do a cover of it, but they don't can't tune that low or don't have an eight string or something like that um so this is from devil may cry 5 i haven't beat this game but i played it and it was a lot of fun i'm curious if i'll recognize this song or not but let's hear how it sounds this is virgil's battle theme from devil may cry 5 aka bury the light by casey williams or casey edwards rather it's your drum break okay okay you're safe oh that's sick I see why you wanted me to check this out. It does remind me a little bit of another game. I wasn't expecting it to go that chill. That intro thing was pretty heavy. Oh, you're just bad at guitar, so you can't do it. Okay, I got you. Yeah, that... It's not really guitar. It's synth. But I can see what you mean. It would sound sick on guitar. I love all the ambience behind it. All that shit. Sounds great. I 
I wish I knew how to play this game. That's how you play it. That's sick. Yeah, I can definitely see why you wanted me to check that out. It definitely is a little reminiscent. Well, maybe not a little, but quite a lot reminiscent of, you know, Mick Gordon slash Doom. It sounds pretty sick. I need to check out more of this soundtrack. I've definitely heard the other song from this game, um, the theme song, which was called, like, Pull My Devil Trigger or something like that. The title of the song was really funny, but the song was actually pretty fucking sick. Yeah, thanks, Rin. I appreciate that. Um, okay, next up we got Resuscitate. Um, Desolation's Edge by Resuscitate. He says, the lyric video is on YouTube on Beheading the Traders channel, and the song is track 16 on the album Children of the Vault. All right, let's check it out. I think I've heard this band before, I'm pretty sure. Let's take a listen. Enter deep space okay. Interesting intro. Kind of reminds me of um, a band called Last Chance to Reason, if you ever heard of them. Very chill so far. Oh shit, Rin. <laughs> I'll, we'll, we'll go back, we'll get to the chorus in a sec. Sorry about that, I didn't realize. Bohemian Rhapsody, love it. Hey, what's up, Tyler? How's it going? Upon this lifeless body, the radiant home world. I'm gonna assume this has something to do with the Fallout universe. There we go. Oh wow. I wasn't expecting to go to that heavy. Oh wow. That's low as fuck. What is that word? Necrotifeo? That is a sick fucking riff. Borderlands, sorry, gotcha. I knew it was one- ah, I fucked up. <laughs> I forgot Children of the Vault was Borderlands, not follow. Man, that low note is so satisfying. That one. Yeah, I like that. 
Oh, it's a solo project. Crazy. Also, hi, Andrew. How's it going? So many fall riffs. Goddamn. It's honestly crazy that this is a solo project. Like one dude doing that singing, that screaming, and all that guitaring. Shit. I mean, for my taste, like, I don't love long songs as much, but for being a long song, like, this had a lot of shit going on, so it definitely kept it interesting pretty much the entire way through. It's crazy to me, like I keep saying, that this is a solo project, and also I think he was saying he wrote, like, a like a 20-track album. Crazy. Oh, you didn't do the clean singing? Okay, gotcha. But, I mean, still, everything else, that's very impressive, man. Um, yeah, that's, that's super cool. I don't really have any critiques. <laughs> that was just super sick. I love it. Um, okay. A couple of housekeeping things to talk about before we move on. Uh, do, do, do. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay. So for the GJ and James Wells, your super chats don't have like any information. It just says, uh, the amount of money with no song name, so you need to let me know what that's supposed to be for, because I have no idea. So please let me know, and we'll sort that out uh, soon. <clears throat> um, what else? Oh yeah, and then Rin Yumitoba, we'll, we'll get that squared away real quick here. So that was my bad. Um, I thought that I had already listened to the chorus, but I guess not. So I guess another note, if you guys want me to listen to like particular parts of songs, definitely let me know like a timestamp in the super chat. Let's take a listen to this real quick. Okay, 
That's obviously the chorus. He's got some pipes. That's pretty sick. Yeah, I can definitely see a Jant cover of this song being pretty dope. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Maybe I will. I mean, fuck, it's got like 8 million views. Might be might be worth it. Thanks for the suggestion, Rin. That's that's actually a really sick song. I will have to I know it's pretty long. I would definitely not do a full 10 minute cover. I would like shorten it down a little bit. But yeah, thanks for that. Um, okay, cool. Next up we got Where is he? Oh, I thought I already had this open, but it's not. Okay. Next up, we got Beat Stick, The Mind, and The Monsters live version. Uh, let's take a listen to that. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. What are we doing here? There we go. Okay, let's take a listen. Beat Stick, let's see what you got. Oh, it's frozen. Why is it frozen? Sorry about that. Uh, okay, now it's going. Hello, here we go. I'm Beat Stick, and this is my instrument, the Beat Stick. What the fuck is that? I'm about to play for you. Thanks. Okay. Made his own instrument called the beat stick. Hence his name, the beat stick. I am curious to see how and what this thing sounds like. It's like a like a BC Rich Warlock body or something. That boy do be possessed though. Oh, weird. So he's playing with like a slider? That's... I'm so curious. Are you picking it? What is that? It's like a big triangle pick. It's like a... You gotta explain this instrument in the chat or something. I gotta know what's going on here. What? <laughs> what other stick he be beating though? Okay, so you're picking it, but it's not a string. It's like a like a magnetic bar of some kind. Grindcore gent stick. A little bit, yeah. Not magnetic. What? I'm so curious what this thing is. The grind stick. Shipping container strap made out of steel. Okay. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, I think I spent more time just curious about the instrument than the song, personally. Um, it's a cool idea. It's not necessarily my type of music. 
<laughs> it's more like uh I don't even know. It's not really like grindcore. It's like like industrial metal with grindcore elements or something. I don't know. It's 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 interesting. It's a little weird, a little out there, but it's definitely unique. Um yeah, I mean, I wish the mix was a little bit better. Like I could barely hear the drums. I could only hear the cymbals. It would be nice to hear a little bit more of that like kick drum and if there was any other instruments happening because i know you weren't playing the thing the entire time you were also doing vocals and when you're doing vocals i couldn't really hear the background music too well so just overall that mix could be cleaned up a little bit but i mean it was pretty cool definitely one of the most unique submissions i've seen on any of my streams uh thanks for that thanks for that beat stick appreciate it um okay next up is from phantom rise and they would like us to listen to Diablo by Zoom. I've heard the song before. I remember it being pretty sick. Let's hear it again. Yo, so you looking good? You looking good? Oh, I look good, bro. What the fuck? What the... I look good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that bass drop is so ridiculous. Some good old bouncy metalcore. Oh, how's it going, Grant? Sorry, I didn't see you there. You remember the video because of the intro? <laughs> yeah. This is like the handlebar riff. Twenty twelve energy, I feel that. It's definitely something you just wanna like vibe out to. You do be vibing. I agree with you, Grant. Those bass drops are hilarious though, I must say. bar in Los Angeles? Maybe. I'm not familiar. I definitely got some Attila vibes too, Brandon. The vocalist is super good. So many bless. I wish I, I should have been counting the bless. Another one there? No? Okay. Sick. Yeah, it's definitely got that old school, like, 2012-ish. Metalcore bounce to it. Is that the end? Is there more? Oh, okay. It's like credits. Got it. Cool. Yeah, it's good stuff, man. So many blaze. So many blaze. And so many clipping bass drops. But yeah, it's cool. My only critique is like the drum mix is just a little weird. Like the cymbals are super fucking loud compared to most other things. But it, that's just me being nitpicky. It didn't distract me too much from the actual song. Um,. What's up? How's it going? New music. What's up, Matt Sartori? I see you, <clears throat> Lucas. That's a big. That's a big blah right there. Screamy scream metal, indeed. Um, okay, cool. What is next? So we got 
ja Jabinal1105. I apologize if that is not how you pronounce your name. But we're going to check out what you got. So he says, I'm the vocalist in the band Insular. I would love for you to check out our newest single, Winchester. Let me know what you think. Much love. Let's check it out. Insular Winchester. Uh, I'm tempted to click the guitar playthrough, but we're going to we're going to go with the, the actual song. It was pretty new. January 30th, a little little over a month old. Oh, and the GJ, I got you now, by the way, if you're still here. Solid mix. I really like that album artwork. Your vocals actually remind me a lot of Austin Vicky. Oh, okay. Got the singy boy too. I really like your guys' guitar leads. Sick. Yeah, that was great. Good metalcore again. This kind of gives me like a little bit, a tiny bit throwback vibes to like that 2012-ish era of like The Word Alive and um, oh, what was the other band it's reminding me of? It's going to drive me crazy. Like Moss to Flames, stuff like that, except with like way better guitar leads. Yeah, that was sick. I liked it. And like I said, the screaming vocals for some reason were reminding me of like Austin Dickey a little bit. Not as much with the lows, but like his his mids are pretty similar. Yeah, that was, that was cool, man. I liked that quite a lot. Uh, thank you, Jabinel. Appreciate you. Jab, Jabin L. I don't, I don't know, man. Whatever. However you pronounce that. Um, okay. Uh, do, do, do. I thought I saw a question I was going to answer real quick. Oh, yeah. Aria, we did you. Uh, already it was awesome just so you know um and yeah the people loved it man um okay what's next here all right next up we got serpent stomper so this is an interesting one because he has submitted a few songs to this stream before and they've always been instrumental so this is his first time ever having a vocalist on one of his songs so i'm very curious how that sounds no saviors in suits um yeah I'm, I'm curious man because it's been cool seeing this uh this channel's growth like you know my biggest critique was always like the instrumentals are awesome but they're so clearly made for vocals so instrumentally alone i was like they're a little bit lacking just because like you can tell there's supposed to be vocals on it i'm curious to hear how this goes 
according to all the works which they have done since the day. You said it was a German vocalist, I believe. Even unto this day, wherewith they have forsaken him, to serve other gods, so do they also unto thee. Love that band. This riff is trippy. Men in suits bad. Oh, he can get low too, shit. I wasn't expecting him to go low there, that was cool. Down. I think I mentioned this last time, but it definitely reminds me of like Lamb of God style riffs, Lamb of God riffage, Lamb of God type beat. I mean, yeah, it's it's really cool to hear one of your songs with vocals finally. Um, you know, the vocals are good for the most part, except for like some timing issues. Like it's a little, it was like a little rushed or a little dragging a little bit either way on some of the lines. Um, like that could be tightened up a bit, whether it's like with editing or just like doing the take again, I'm not sure. The vocals were also like a little quiet in the mix. They could have been a little bit, a little bit higher um yeah i think it's just mostly like you know it's your first time mixing vocals and i think it's good but i think it could be a little bit better for sure um that's pretty much it man yeah just keep going it's really cool to see your progression like i said you know i'm used to hearing your music instrumentally so it's cool to hear the first time you did something with vocals just uh yeah just keep working on that vocal mix and this will be super sick very soon um yeah that's pretty much all i gotta say on that thanks again serpent stomper appreciate you um okay lama god riffage with slipknot guitar tones yeah like i said definitely definitely a lama god type type instrumental you know what i mean um michael i don't know if you had a request but i do see a super chat from you that's for a dollar so i don't know if that was supposed to be for something but if it was just a donation thank you uh, if you're still here, let me know if that was supposed to be a request, because I did not get one. Um, okay, next up we got Matt Smith 254 uh, Endfall, Broken, and Bleeding. Thank you, Matt Smith 254 Appreciate that. Let's take a listen to this. Don't know if there's supposed to be a specific timestamp, so we're just going to go from the beginning. Okay. Wow, 
much slower than the last few songs. Slower and more melodic. Shout out, Michael. That was not what I was expecting for vocals. This is cool. He can bell, it's fine. I like this part a lot more when he's like pushing his vocals. Got a really awesome voice. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit here. I wanna see. I wanna see what happens. So we got like a little guitar solo. A little weird. Doesn't quite match the song in my opinion. Okay, so overall, that intro was like super strong with this this groove, sick as hell. I kind of like lost interest a little bit when it came to this part, when it kind of like slowed down a little bit, but then it picked back up with that chorus when he was belting. I don't know, it's cool. It's interesting. It's pretty much just like the the verse sections where the the vocals and the guitars are a little a little bit lower. Something about that part wasn't wasn't quite quite grabbing. But I loved the intro and the chorus. And then yeah, that guitar solo was a, a little out of place, I must say. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's cool, man. Uh, thanks, Matt Smith. I appreciate you. Uh, the GJ, let it be known I just started playing eight strings because of you. Oh, well, that's sick to hear. Thank you, man. Planet Buster, how's it going? Oh, it reminds me of Coheed. Yeah, I can hear the Coheed uh, uh, influence for sure. Coheed or like um, Vic Fuentes, I saw someone else say. Cool. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, next up we got another one from Brandon Yates. <laughs> Why not Zoidberg? All right, Brandon. Why not Zoidberg? Tell us. Oh, I've seen this. Snap like a crab. I remember this. Super Saiyan Zoidberg. Love it. What's the matter with you? Quit stealing from the Three Stooges. I love it. So he actually hired... I'll wait to talk. Oh, that's the end. Okay, he actually hired the voice actor from... Or the voice actor of Zoidberg to do this. Brendan's crazy, man. That's hilarious. Love it. <laughs> oh man faking crab core so funny okay and planet buster i see you uh you said you did steve bob okay no worries i'm sure i got that somewhere in here um with that being said i'm going to request that you guys no more super chats because we got a lot to go through still which is awesome but i gotta turn that off uh because i want to make sure i get through all these today um okay next up we got mark uh, Intuitive of a Machine instrumental cover from the legendary Job for a Cowboy song. That's funny that you did this because I totally just covered this song like a couple weeks ago. This song is legendary deathcore. Oops. Help if I spelled it right. Um, oh, is it on this? Hold on a second. I think it's in here. Yeah, five minutes. Uh, I'm just going to look it up on 
on Spotify instead. Because it's going to be too hard to, to grab the timestamp. I know I've heard your music before, Mark. Alright. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then let's go 2.55. Here we go. Love that China symbol. Bum, 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 bum. It's such a good song, all these years later. I want to hear that tempo drop. There it is. So good. Oh, you added in some dissonance. I like that. Good idea. Unless I'm imagining things. Sweet. Yeah, so Mark also has a full EP of stuff like this. That's super sick. Definitely go check it out. Um, yeah, that's good stuff. Got, got no uh, no critiques. It sounds great. It's always a, such a fun song to play. I love playing that song. Um, okay, we got another one from Beat Stick. Hate Brigade Machine Gun Mayhem. And this is not his song. It is Friends of His. So let's take a listen to that. What a good friend. Donating was friend's band. Oh, you played it in drop A instead of drop C. Nice, nice. Um, okay, Hate Brigade, Machine Gun Mayhem. Let's take a listen to what this is all about. Wow, that guitar is very loud in comparison to the rest of the music. Yeah, that's the not 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 my thing personally. <laughs> Must say, um, the mix is super fucking weird. Like the guitars are so loud in comparison to everything else. But yeah, it's not not my thing personally. I guess if you're into like more, um, like Planet Buster was saying, psychedelic rock or psychedelic groove metal, I can see. The appeal, but for me personally, it is not my thing. I'm sorry. Hey, Patrick, how's it going, man? We played Cicada as the first song of the day. People were loving it. Patrick is the guitarist of Reflections, by the way. Everybody say hello, Patrick. <clears throat> um, okay, cool. We're going to move on. Next up, we got Straya. He says, let me get some clout. Search Milk Sop by Surface Wounds. Uh, let's take a, let's take a look at that. Oh, wait. Milk sop. I don't know what milk sop is, but we're gonna take we're gonna find out. It's got a sick guitar tone. It sounds a lot like um like end. If you've heard of end, it sounds like their guitar tone. Oh, sick. Nice. 
New Brunswick heart proud. Okay, so these are some Canadian boys. Two step. That bass tone. This is sick. This is sick. I like this a lot, I must say. It does have kind of that car bomb tone. Oh, so a milk soft is a person without a backbone, I think, is that what you meant? Last breakdown, probably. Oh, nasty. Yeah, that was super sick. Like I said, it definitely reminds me a lot of this band called End. I'm sure you guys have heard of them if you sound like that. But for those of you in the chat who haven't heard of this band before, first of all, they're heavy as fuck and super awesome. But like, it totally sounds like this. Where's that part? This part. No. No, no. Anyways, that's what it reminded me of, which is a very good thing. Um, okay, we're going to listen to one more, and then I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. We still got a lot to go through, which is awesome. Um, where are we here? Next up, we got Kyle Baffy. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, Araxis, or sorry, Arrakis, the Spellbinding Bell featuring Travis Bartosek. Bartosek? Did I pronounce that all correctly? Probably didn't. Because uh, I suck at talking. Okay, let's take a listen. Birth of Gloom. The good old Plague Doctor. Plague Doctors do be pretty metal, though. We might have used one of those on one of our songs, too. Very good, Gaffer. Thank you for that. <laughs> Just all making noises in the chat with your, with your fingers. Love it. Synthwave Chainsaws. Youth Forever kind of vibes. Yeah, I can see a little bit of Youth Forever in that too. Junior uh, Estorino, no more Super Chats for today, I'm sorry. But I'll be doing that next month. So the mix on this one is definitely a little, a little weird. Hearing lots of kick drum. Vocal sounds pretty good though.
Yeah, the highlight of this so far is definitely the Rogue Wars, man. He's got that low, sludgy growl locked down. Nokia phone speaker noise. I've never heard that before. I think I know what you mean, though. That's a good way to describe that, I guess. You can crash forward as a choice that was made. Gives it a vibe. Okay, fair enough. I feel like everything just like became quieter. It's bouncy though. Got like a fade out thing. Um, yeah. So, like I was saying, the mix on this one is pretty weird. I must say, I understand like some of it was stylistic, but there was a couple parts where it felt like this song almost like completely changed. Like that first time when a guitar lead happened, everything like dropped in volume, and then the guitar was in the center, but also not louder. So it just I guess like when the vocals were removed, it made you realize how quiet everything was or something. I'm not really sure. Something something a little strange was happening there. Um, the actual song like structure was really cool. The vocalist was, in my opinion, the highlight for sure. He has like a sick low scream. But yeah, it was it was a little hard to not be distracted by a couple of the mix choices, in my opinion. Um, but I mean like like I said, like the the important things are like the song structure and the techniques, and those are there. But I think you guys definitely need to look into changing up your mixing style, in my opinion, just because it is a little distracting from the overall song when the mix kind of is shifting around so much. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion. Hopefully, that is useful to you. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to take a very quick bathroom break, and then next up we got Chaos Variant. Uh, we're going to listen to that in just a second. But for now, uh, let's throw on some Distant, and I'll be right back. I'm going to just go take a quick bathroom break. Don't worry about it.
All right. So that was a little bit of cryogenesis by distant in the background there, but we're going to keep this going. <clears throat> we're going to move on to the next one, which is from Chaos Variant. Uh, they would like us to play uh, Escape by Devil Oof. So I know this is not their band because I've definitely heard of Devil Oof before. They're a Japanese... Uh, he says they're a Japanese visual Kai band, but they basically just make deathcore. I have no idea what a visual Kai band is. I'm sorry. But I definitely know what deathcore is. <laughs> and I've definitely heard not this song, but a different one of their songs before. So we're going to take a listen to that real quick. Yo, what's up, Matthew? How's it going? New music, the band is six fuck. Yeah, Distant is awesome, by the way. If you guys haven't heard them before, check them out. Um... Oh yeah, and then someone was asking like about cracks in a solar fretboard or something like that. So I've definitely seen like a few posts about that. Um, but like, I mean, I still have two of my solar guitars and I've had four, I think total, and none of them have ever had cracks. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I mean, I've always had good luck with solar. So not sure if they might've switched factories or if that was just like a couple of off days or what happened there. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've always been happy with mine, so. That's my my only the only thing I have to say in the matter is that mine have always been good. Um, but with that being said, we're moving on. Chaos variant, or sorry, escape by Devil Oof, not Chaos variant. But the super chat was from Chaos variant, so thank you for that. Let's take a listen. Japanese deathcore. Let's go. I remember this vocal as being fucking crazy. That's sick. <laughs> I wish my guitar came with crack. Very funny. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Hmm, not sure if I'm feeling the cleans on this one. This is like so much old school deathcore vibes, or even like death metal. Obviously, other than the singing. Oh, weird. This part's sick. Like, this sounds like a Black Dahlia murder riff, except with singing. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? What the fuck was that? I'm so confused. <laughs> that threw me off. Whammy pitched vocals, that's what it sounded like. Dude, that was like the highest pitched thing I've ever seen in my life. Or heard in my life. I wanna hear if he does that again. I guess uh, that was just too fucked up. Oh, 
What the fuck? <laughs> Man, that, I, that's bizarre. I guess, like, dude, I don't know. That is, like, fucking me up. Ah, <laughs> man. Uh, yeah, those two moments in the... <laughs> <laughs> like overall it was sick but what the fuck i didn't even it's not a i don't even know what to say like that's just so so weird where was that noise I can't find it again, but dude, that was... <laughs> like, what the fuck? I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's weird because I don't... It's not even like I don't like it. It's just so weird. Like, I've never heard anything like that before. So, I mean... Yeah, that's, that's all I gotta say, Then That's interesting. <laughs> That's <laughs> super strange. Wow, that was definitely a lot different than anything I've ever heard before. Um, okay, next up we got <laughs> uh, Dusan Zanji, um, Walrus Summer Migration. Let's take a listen to this, shall we? And then after that we got Tyler Rosso. I love how there's actual videos of walruses migrating, by the way. That's great. I wish the music video for this song was walrus is migrating already to mario jump noise it does sound like that all right let's take it back down be serious again got that like very tight edited gen sound I love this description. We broke the ice. Now it's time to migrate with the walruses. As promised, second song from Walrus EP. So I guess it's like an instrumental thing. Um, yeah, it's, it, the mix on this one is also kind of weird, the, like, the guitars are super low, like, not low-tuned, but just low in the mix, and, like, that kick drum is just overpowering everything. Like, it's, it's almost like all kick. It's a cool composition, though, and, like, the editing is, is good, it's just I wish the guitars were a little higher in the mix and also had, like, some more mids or more treble or something like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's cool. It's cool. Where the fuck is the transients? Yeah, that, I mean, that, that would be the editing, right? Like, that's definitely like a technique that's used within gents. And I personally actually like that um, in some contexts. Like, in songs like this, I think that sounds good. Having like no transients is definitely like a stylistic choice. 
Um, you know, bands like After the Burial do that a lot as well. Um, but yeah, that's that's cool overall. Just yeah, the mix is a little strange, I must say. Um, okay. Oh yeah, Midir M D I R. You said you gotta go. Your song is two away, so I don't know if you're still here. If you want to stick around a little longer, we're we're just about at you. But if not, I understand. Um, Tyler Rosso, Shallow Grave. What's up, Tyler? Man, how's it going? He's been in the chat the whole time as well. I've already seen this video. I know it's good, but now you guys will see too. Also, go subscribe to his channel, man. He's done tons of good videos outside of original music as well. I'm confused why someone is just repeatedly saying we will struggle. Um, but sorry to hear that, I guess. I don't know. Finding Screamo. That feel when you have to flush your guitarist down the toilet. Lucas, man. I love this, um, not orchestra. I guess it'd be an orchestral part. Oh man, yeah. So go follow uh, Tyler's channel. He's awesome, man. Does tons of funny ass videos, and also does really sick music. So if you like funny things or serious things that are presented in a funny music video, all good. Go check him out. Also, Taylor Barber's vocals are so fucking good, man. It's so cool that you guys work together on that. Goldfish are kind of disgusting. Um, love the cinematic drums. Yeah, that's a little bit better of a way to explain it than or it wasn't really orchestral, but definitely like a. Cinematic drum part, I guess, would be a better way to put it. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, yeah, the Mighty Kraken. You're still in here. That's good. So I see your super chat as well, but there was no message attached to it. So let me know. Let me know what you want me to play in, in here now. <clears throat> um, okay, next up we got Medir, No Salvation. Let's check it out. I'm 
I'm assuming this is using like clips from an old movie or something. This music video, well, okay, we got that Nosferatu clip. Good play combo, not quite. I like the, um, I like the guitar tones and stuff. It kind of reminds me of like a like a slightly more hardcore Mastodon or something like that. Especially with that fuzzy ass guitar tone. Weird. Yeah, I mean, not a t not a genre of music that I typically listen to, but like I said, it definitely kind of reminds me of like that like stoner slash grunge metal. Definitely kind of like Mastodon, but with a little bit more like hard vocals, <laughs> if you will. So yeah, it was cool, man. <clears throat> Thanks again to uh, Madir for that one. Neurosis vibes. I haven't heard of Neurosis, so I'll take your word for that. Uh, next up, we got the G J. Uh, play the video, not the topic. Okay, gotcha. Um, oh shit, where did that go? Oh no. GJ. Fuck, I think. One second. Uh, the GJ, if you're, st I see you're still in the chat. I can't find your. Oh, sorry. We're all good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Shit, I gotcha. Um, okay, Doom inspired music. I guess it's this one. Let's take a look. Got another Doomy boy. Hey, Birdie, how's it going? Definitely a doomy tones. Fucks like Johnny Sins. If you know, you know, I guess. Oh shit. Switch to that OG Doom with the blast beats. Yeah, Brandon, you got some competition apparently.
was not expecting fast parts like this. This is not something you usually hear in the newer Doom games. Cool. Yeah, I like that overall. Um, my main critiques are, as you guys have noticed by now, just with the mix. Um, for some reason, I feel like I was hearing a lot of guitar on my left ear, but not a lot of guitar on my right. So I don't know if that was like balanced a little strangely. It almost sounded like it was bass and guitar like on opposite sides or something like that. Not sure if I was imagining that or what's up with that. Um, but like the actual composition and the song definitely sounded like something that would be in a Doom game. And I think he totally nailed the style. And yeah, that was sick. I dug it overall. Um, and V, by the way, I see <laughs> you're still suggesting songs, but we're not doing any more song suggestions today. I have a bunch to get through still, and they are closed for today, just so you know. So any of the, the jerk chicken or the, the, what was the other one that I said? The, I still suffer or something like that. That's all going to have to wait. Maybe next time. Oh, oops. I, <laughs> I just fucked up. Okay, next up we got Disembodied Tyrant. Um, oh, okay, I remember you. So he says, hey, it's Donovan, the 15-year-old vocalist. Recently my band released second single ever called Wrath. It's on Slam Worldwide, and I would love to see your reaction. Okay, so this guy is 15 years old, and he is fucking sick deathcore vocalist. Um, I've heard one of their other songs before. I haven't heard this one yet. Let's check it out. Disembodied Tyrant. And Bruno's song submissions are closed for today. Sorry. How the fuck is a 15 year old about to sound like that? Kick drum, Jesus Christ. Ridiculous. <laughs> the low end resonates with you forever now. <laughs> oh my god it's like a 20 second bass drop that's crazy man i can't believe the vocalist is so young like that seriously blows my mind 
Um, okay, yeah, this song is heavy as fuck. The only critique I have <clears throat> is the kick drum is super loud. Uh, I would love to hear some more guitars coming through. Like, it's definitely mostly, like, kick drum and vocals are, like, top, and then everything else is a little in the background, you know? Um, <clears throat> so, that's my only critique, but, like, it's not even that big of a deal. Like, the song still sounds sick despite that. It kind of adds to it in a weird way just because it's so ridiculous that the kicks are that loud that it almost, like, makes it even heavier. I, I don't know, man. It was cool. Um, the Mighty Kraken, no, I still don't see your uh chat uh, so please just let me know in the chat right now what you would like me to play because i cannot find it um okay next up we got matt sartori axty a perfect son thank you so much matt appreciate you perfect son <laughs> oh shit Love that pick scrape. That guitar is fucked. Which is like kind of Vela Maya ish. Damn. <laughs> Damn. That tempo drop. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Jesus. I don't know how you would even play that slow in real time. That would actually be hard to play because it's so fucking slow. That's super heavy. Super, super fucking heavy. It almost reminds me of a mixture of like Veil of Maya and Amir or something like that. Um, yeah, that was sick as fuck. I love that. That was awesome. Um, okay, so yeah, I made a, made a mistake here. So what happened was GJ made two super chats. So I accidentally skipped over a bunch and went to a second one. So we're just going to go back and fix that now. Uh, so we got Grant Bowers. What's up, man? Always in the Discord. Appreciate you. Slambient homies. Slambient. I've never heard that before. Okay. Let's, take, let's learn what slambient is. Green leaves. Resentment. So let's check it out. Let me know if you got a timestamp, Grant. If not, we'll start from the beginning here. Literally slowing the rotation of the earth. Ooh, that's a nasty tone. <clears throat> Yeah, 
Yeah, I gotta hear more bands that use the word slambient now. That's an awesome term. Oh, I'm at Denny's Vibes for sure. That's pretty fucking sick, I must say. Uh, yeah, that, <laughs> I definitely immediately understood what you meant by Slambian. That's sick, dude. Thanks, Grant. Appreciate you, man. Um, okay, next we got Austin Klinger. Again, sorry about that mix up with the timing, but we got you now. Uh, a Notion of Silence Dynamo, and they say. Uh, it's on Spotify. New record they're working on is heavier, but it's not out yet. So we'll listen to this one instead. Let's listen to this one, shall we? Dynamo, a notion of silence. Title track. Here we go. All vibes. Oh man, going from slam to this is quite the change up. A little more, a little more rock. Kind of reminds me of um, like Elliot Coleman's vocals. Like uh, from what are they called? Good Tiger. Simple groove, but it works. <laughs> Good buddy, Elliot. This singer is beauty. I love the like subtle background vocals in that part. Very cool. Ooh. That's a sick riff. Again, like, a lot of this isn't necessarily, like, it, it's simple, but it, it grooves so well. Big rock chorus, or not chorus, reverse, I guess. Oh, okay. Harmonies, love it. This is a super tasty solo. It matches the song really well. It's not like too wanky. 
See you later, good for Thanks for joining, man. Big rock ending. It reminds me of in like rock bands when you just have that fucking part literally called the big rock ending where you just do whatever the fuck you want. It's great. That's sweet, man. Yeah, that was like nice and simple, but not in a not. I don't know how to explain it. It wasn't necessarily simple, but it sounded simple in the way that everything grooved and worked really well together. The vocalist, in my opinion, is definitely the highlight. I liked the guitar solo. Usually I'm not a huge fan of guitar solos, but that one was done pretty tastefully. Like it matched the vibe of the song, which is very important. And a lot of guitarists don't do that. And they just like want to show off or something and shred super hard. But this guy, you know, like the, the style of the solo matched the song, basically. I like that. It was cool. Lots of melodies, lots of background singing, tons of like layering, just very well thought out song. It was awesome. Um, okay, next up we got Ryan Dennison, Interiors Focus. He says, my good friend released his solo EP and I feel like you would love it. Let's take a listen to that. Interiors Focus. Got some gents. Jensen. Doobie Jensen. Solid guitar tone. Major key metalcore, or not really metalcore, major key gen, I guess. Cool change up there. How's it going, Mr. Midnight? Mighty Kraken, I got you. You're up next. Interesting change up there. I like it. Buster, there are two more before you, I think. Nice. Yeah, that was sick overall. Um, I personally would have loved to hear it with vocals, but I understand it's, you know, obviously a solo instrumental project. It was really well done. Mix was great. Guitar tones were awesome. 
And yeah, I don't really have any critiques. Just like I personally would like it more if it had vocals, probably just because I'm not the biggest fan of instrumental music. But that's just a personal thing. Everything about it was really well constructed. The transitions were awesome. Uh, yeah, just really, really fucking good overall. Um, yeah, and Planet Buster, there are two more before you, which is uh, Cody Johnson and the Kraken. But you're up after them. Um, and then I see, so it's like a couple of people just keep saying the same band name. So the way this works is I'm only doing ones that were super chatted in. So if you're just going to spam band names in the chat, it's not going to work. Just letting you know right now. So you can, you can stop. <laughs> we got lots more to go through doing that now. Um, Mighty Kraken is up next because we, we jumped over him a little bit earlier. Um, Garage Band Halloween song. It's gonna be hard to find. Kraken. Okay, here we go. Mighty Kraken. So this is like something he wrote in Garage Band, I guess, called Halloween song. Let's see how we go. Definitely sounds like a Halloween song so far. It did give me C2I vibes as well, Brandon. I agree. So this is like not what I was expecting at all because this is straight up like a full orchestral arrangement. It's pretty cool. Logic X Pro. <laughs> so not GarageBand. That's cool, man. I mean, it definitely sounds like something that would be in a Halloween movie, so... Definitely accomplished that. I feel very spooky right now. I don't know about y'all. Um, okay, next up we got Insidious Asphyxiation. Voluptuous. Oh my god. Some of these words you guys try to make me pronounce are ridiculous. I don't know how to say this. Ectesias? I don't know. Let's hear what it sounds like. Insidious Asphyxiation. Oh my god. Insidious Asphyxiation. There we go. Got some toilet vocals. I'm not I'm not a big fan of the vocals personally, but I know some people love their slam. Just trying to read this album title. <laughs> yeah, the for me the vocals are not not my thing personally. This album title is insane. Extra extraption of. Inquitious and Nexora Bled of VNC. Whatever, whatever that says. Yeah, it's, it's not my thing personally, I must be honest, Cody. Um, it definitely sounds like Slam, so I'm sure people that are into Slam probably dig it. I like the album artwork, the logo's cool, but yeah, the vocals is, is not for me personally, <laughs> I must say. Um, okay, next up we are going to Steve Bob, a.k.a. Planet Buster. Um, let's take a listen here. Do took your advice on the last one. I went a hell of a lot harder with the mix and breakdowns. Okay, let's. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why did I just do? That? Oh, I guess that worked. That's surprising. Okay, here we go. Mind flare. Is this gonna be some D and D or Stranger Things type thing? Oh, 
<laughs> I love that synth in the background. Yeah, so far the highlights are definitely the vocals for me. Both the singing and the screaming are really good. The snare drum is pretty weird, but other than that, the composition seems good so far. But yeah, this, this chorus is fucking awesome. Breakdown. One more time. Cool. Okay, overall, definitely the best song I've heard from you so far. Uh, like I was saying, the drum mix is like the main thing that is a little strange about this one, especially that snare drum. It's just like kind of a strange snare sample. Someone else was saying it sounded kind of like old school Metallica, which I actually agree with. It's not necessarily bad. It's just like really, really loud in comparison to the rest of the drums. The vocals, like I said, are the highlight for me personally. Um, I liked what you did with this like double chorus at the end, but personally what I would have done, you don't have to do this, but my suggestion would be if you double the chorus, maybe like the second chorus, have the vocals drop out and have it just be that guitar solo. So it's not like the vocals and the guitar solo and the riff all at the same time. Like it might just be a little too much um, in my opinion. But yeah, I mean, overall, like I said, it's pretty fucking cool, man. Um, yeah, that, that's it, man. Again, thanks, uh, Steve Bob, a.k.a. <laughs> Planet Buster. Um, okay, next up we got... Oh, yeah, this one was posted. Sorry, one sec. This is another one where they forgot to attach a message. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Um, I don't know if you're still here, Markin Werner, or Marcin Werner. If you are, please report to the office <laughs> no please let me know in the chat what song you want me to play because uh it is not here anymore so i don't know what you want me to play so Mercin, marcin sorry if you're still here let me know um and then yeah the anime effect uh we're no longer doing submissions so i'll have to put you 
on the next stream. So I'll write you down. We'll do it next time. <clears throat> Don't you worry. I'll get you, but it will be next month, not this stream. Um, and then, yeah, Marson, if you're still here, let me know. So, oh, you're still here. Cool. Marson, let me know in the chat what you want, and we'll do that after this next one. I'm going to skip you real quick right for now. We're going to go to Mobile Metal Grilla O'Grilla. Let's take a listen to that. Where is it? Mobile Metal Grilla O'Grilla. Okay. Zomb or Mobile Metal. Silent answer. Okay. Gotcha. Thanks, Marson. I got you. You'll be up next. Christmas metal. Interesting. I have no idea what Grilla O'Grilla is. I'm not sure if that was like, if this is a cover of a song. I'm, I'm not. It's cool, man. I mean, that's super impressive that you were able to do that all on your phone. Uh, my only critique is definitely like the clean vocals are a little, little pitchy. I don't know if there's any way to pitch correct on an iPhone. I have no idea what app you're using, but those could use like a little, little fine tuning <clears throat> just to, uh, you know, tune them up. But that makes so much more sense why your name is Mobile Metal now. Again, that's really cool that you were able to do all of this on your phone. I honestly would not have thought that was possible. But yeah, that's, that's my, uh, my critiques for you, man. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. okay, so we're gonna go back to Martian Werner. He would like us to listen to a violent answer, no one to follow. Motherfucker, here we go. Rocking the Attila shirt. Love that two step rule. That's awesome. Let's go. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, I definitely got the awful little vibes. That's what I was going to say. I definitely was expecting the R part. R part. Yeah, this is pretty sick, I must say. These guys go pretty hard. Oh, he's rocking a Slam Worldwide shirt too. I didn't even know they made shirts. That's awesome. Oops. Oh, they got. Let's hear this guest vocal part. The vocalist looks super young too. It's 
Sick. Yeah, guys, this totally reminds me of something like Alpha Wolf, but a little more on the metalcore side, a little less deathcore. It's cool. I li I dig it. Um, yeah, no no critiques really at all. I guess if I had to be picky, you gotta throw an arf arf in there. Throw an arf arf in a song. That's my critique for you. <laughs> Oh, I'm an idiot, and then I see Marston's thing right below that. That's funny. I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh, Lucas Shaw, Night in Texas, Warborn. And then I saw you... I'm sorry I forgot to answer this earlier, but you asked if I was um, excited for new A Night in Texas, and I don't actually know. I don't think I've heard this band too much before. I've only heard their songs they did on that split EP with Angel Maker. So, let's see. <laughs> Just going right into it. Oh yeah, I remember his vocals now. His vocals are crazy. Oh, you guys do have an arf arf in another song. Hell yeah. Mm. Yeah, his high vocals are fucked, Lucas. Those right there. Alright, yeah, that's pretty sick. I definitely need to put some more time into this band. I don't know why, but I've only ever heard their EP that they did with Angel Maker, which was like back in 2016, so quite a while ago. But I've listened to these songs a lot. And for some reason, I just never checked out the rest of their catalog. So I gotta, I gotta change that. Thank you, Lucas, for reminding me. Uh, see you later, Planet Buster slash Steve Bob. <laughs> um, okay. We got a couple more, three left. Uh, AZ Haunter, Arizona Haunter, perhaps. Witness the Fallacy, Willow Tree. Let's check it out. It's got like the de depressing vibe with the album art especially. meaty growl. That's a weird thing to say. You're talking to me all wrong. It's, it's the wrong tone. You do it again. I'll stab you in the face with a soldering iron. <laughs> Solid. Yeah, that, that low is sick. Sick. Yeah, man. It's good old deathcore with samples. Like Lucas said, deathcore and samples just go together. I always worry about them because I'm like worried that we're going to get sued if we use them or something. But some of the new Carcosa is probably going to have samples. I just give up on trying to get Johnny not to do them. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I don't know why YouTube disabled comments on our tracks either. That is a little weird for sure. Um, Eve's, Eve Zone? Eve Zone? Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Kind of white chapel vibes, yeah, like old school white chapel ish. Um, okay, we got another one from Aria, Titanokami. I've heard this song before. It's super sick. You guys are gonna like it. We got this and one more, and that is the end of the stream. It's heavy as fuck. You guys will like it.
Yeah, I love that orchestral work, man. It's so sick. It's I love that like triple bender. This riff in the background is so sick. Just makes you feel like you're marching. Here we go. Big breakdown. With that pitch shift. Oh, that drum change. So good. Sick. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'd already heard that song before, but I hope you guys liked it too. Um, okay, we have one final one of the day. These guys always keep it on brand, so it's called 13 Unmetal. They always donate $13, and I think that's so funny, um, just because it's, I don't know, they're very dedicated to their brand, and I, I appreciate that. It's a brand new song. I haven't heard this one yet which I guess is this one, which was released a day ago. So these guys are very much like, um, very like new metal inspired, like kind of like corn meets Sworn In meets Limp Bizkit type of thing. It's pretty sick. You guys will like it. Obviously Slipknot inspired as well.
This riff is so slipknot. I think they go back to that corn vibe. <laughs> You're all about that port of the floor, dude. New metal's coming back. Mark my words. Brandon, I knew you would like this man. They do it so well. And guys, if you're still watching 13 on Metal, this is by far your best song. The mix is so much better than it used to be. And this is like, fuck, such a sick mix of that Slipknot and Corn vibes that I love. Yeah, that was awesome. I love that so much. I oh, just got the outro, gotcha. Okay, cool. Yeah, so these guys have a few other songs. Um, if you liked this, definitely go check the, the other ones as well. But I will say this is, in my opinion, by far your guys' best one so far. Um, you guys have improved your mix so much, and you've gotten even better at capturing that new metal vibe, which you guys were already good at, but this is like, you got it. Keep going with this sound, and it's going to be fucking sick. Trust me. Um, okay, so there's actually one more. I fucked up and forgot. James Wells. I had him open, and then something happened, and he got closed. We got one more. James Wells, Life Control. Let's take a listen. All right, drums are a little loud in the mix. I like the like simple hammer on riff. Those are always fun. The vocals are also like really loud in comparison to the music. A little out of tune as well. Or off key rather. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's the symbols in particular that are really loud, for sure. Agreed. Yeah, it's treble um, on the vocals as well. It's just like really, everything's really like high pitched, you know? Comparing it to um, I Set My Friends on Fire, I can definitely hear that. I always forget about that band. Scene icons. Um, Alright, so, definitely, the mix is a little weird, but I saw you in the chat, James, saying you're, look, you're getting back into mixing, you, pre you appreciate the mix critiques, so, yeah, I'm happy to give them. Um, like I said, the, the biggest things about this one that immediately stuck out is it's definitely, like, the vocals and the cymbals in particular were, like, super high, maybe not high pitch, but had just, like, a lot of treble to them. And if your mix has a lot of treble, it makes your ears tired way faster. So definitely bring down the treble a lot on the vocals. And for cymbals, like, I don't know if you can bring down the treble or at least, like, reduce their volume, one of the two, maybe both. Um, and then, yeah, the singing is just, like, a little off-key. So just need a little practice singing or, you know, perhaps a little bit of tune correction with, like, Melodyne or something like that. Tighten that up, but... Like, the composition of the song was cool, and it's a cool idea. So, yeah, just, you know, tune the vocals and less treble, basically. Um, okay, so that's going to be it for today's stream. Thank you so much to everyone who submitted. There were so many this time. I really appreciate that. Uh, as always, I do one of these every single month, so we'll be doing another one at the end of March. Um, as soon as this stream ends... I will also be putting all of these songs on my Spotify playlist. So if you want to hear any of these again, any of the ones that are applicable will be on this Spotify playlist. In addition to me throwing in other songs that I like on here that I didn't show in the stream. Like we got Gojira, we got Distant, uh, Humanity's Last Breath, a few other ones in here. So go check this out. That's all I got to say. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next month on 